ladies and gentlemen, now for official introduction, the fighter fighting out of Blue Corner, weighing in at 84. He's at 24, stands at 63. He fights out of Omar MMA and hails from Finton County, Tyrone. Six stands at 6'2. Right. He fights out of Hammer and Well, ladies and gentlemen, Kate Shore set to close on this second amateur title. This in the middleweight division. Callan Peace, the Team Rhino Oma prospect, fighting out of the blue corner in the black shorts as he takes on Ryan McNally, winner of the BMF first ever middleweight tournament, one night tournament. Back a few few months ago, 18 or so months ago, he's the hammer prospect, red shorts. Yeah, Peace opening up with a powerful leg kick, but immediately on the back foot. Oh, and a, a bit of a low blow there. Yeah, and unintentional. They were both going high, and it's straight in. And Manali's starting very, very aggressively. Mm. Yeah, these are the absolute worst. Yeah, I kick. Yeah, <laughs> like there is, uh, there, there, there aren't many experiences much worse than being kicked hard in the nuts. Oh jeez, some move. Oh, oh, powerful right hand by Peace. And again, being a Team Rhino fighter, you have no doubt that his jits is going to be on point as well. Yeah, Andy Ryan. Northern Irish legend. And look at that beautiful control on this. This now. I mean, good work by McNally to get back to his feet. Uh, but, uh, but a fantastic sweep there. He's going to have to try and throw his man. It does. Beautiful. Lovely throw. Got to watch the placement of some of those punches. But, uh, but a fantastic sequence to get to the floor. Absolutely. Got side control now. So Callum is going to have to really, well, Worked really well to get get himself back into that full guard. Yeah, I mean, I, I think McNally was a little stationary when he was looking to strike. Controlling the posture, oh. now threatening the arm. But good awareness by McNally of where the threat is. Yeah, he had to be. And now letting his man stand up. I mean, McNally does rely on that power. He's a big, strong middleweight. Yeah. And and those uh, those right kicks to the body. Uh, I mean, in you know, in Thai and in kickboxing, they're good scores. But in MMA, it's essentially asking for your opponent to single leg you. Yeah, absolutely. And see, Callum P starting to yeah, as, start, as he shows again, starting to rise in confidence a little bit now. Gonna have to be heavy on top, and you know, is this is this the kryptonite? For Ryan McNally. Perhaps. I mean, he's in a good position with double underhooks here. So he's got options to work, and, he, and he's reguarded well. He's got that butterfly Excellent hooking. work. Um, but, uh, but yeah, you've you got to think, the longer it stays in a position like this, the worse it is for McNally. Hey, staying active off his back, moving from hip to hip. Yeah, good shots from the top by piece. But, but, again, McNally doing a good job of controlling the hands, controlling the posture. Yeah, not taking a lot of damage at all from from the bottom. Uh, it was yeah. a short little left that got through and now yeah, digging away at the body. Yeah, even if he's getting hit, nothing at the moment is super significant. But, uh, but again, we'd like to see get some feet on the hips, push away, create some of that space, and get back to the striking where... You know, he's a real force. Absolutely. To be he's staying heavy, and that was a big shot through. And again, a fall straight into the, straight in the mount. Ten seconds to go. He's using the forearm to peel him away. It's a big, yeah, it, big it, shots to finish the round. And what a great way for, you know, again, in the eyes of the judges, there's probably some of the most meaningful action in the round. Yeah. I'd like to see like to see McNally just stay a little more composed, not get quite as eager in the exchanges. Yeah. You can already see he's chomping at the bit to get to the center. Well, his piece is looking nice and loose and relaxed. Yeah, yeah and that's the, the, the again we just saw with that right hand that McNally threw. He's throwing caution to win with every shot. Yeah. 
Oh, Ooh, that one landed. Powerful right hand, and, he, and I think he might have wobbled this man. Yeah, it's certainly, certainly Peace was aware that it landed, but again, some lovely movement, step back, moves the head, and now gets a chance to clear the cobwebs while... Mm. Well, yeah, you've got to think this is kind of a fight IQ moment. McNally should really be pulling away. The, the, the one area we have seen Peace do well was on the ground. Yeah, look um, at this. McNally just muscled him there, though. Oh, briefly looking for a head and arm triangle, but, yeah, using it to get him to the floor. And this is a, that's a big, strong man on top. And thought he was going to threat, as you pointed out, that head and arm triangle. But now we'll see how Callum Peace works off his back. Yeah, he's already controlling a wrist on the left side. I think potentially he's going to look to swing for an armbar. Assuming he doesn't eat a load of punches on the way there. Well, that's it. McNally's trying to force Peace up against that cage, get that head up against the cage, yeah. take away some of that movement option for him. It's something that you don't often experience in jiu-jitsu because you're just on open mats, yeah. but when you have your head or your back pressed up against the cage, your mobility is totally changed. Um, oh, ooh. lovely little up kick there. Peace it. I, yeah, I would use this opportunity to stand up, you know. Uh, thing is, McNally not giving him any space to stand up. And in order to stand up, you've got to put your hand down. Yeah. So McNally looking heavy. Thought he was in north and south for a moment, but in the side. Oh, and just kneeling on the neck and face. Yeah. That's just nasty. Oh, you love to see it. Yeah, you do. Oh, and a beautiful transition to the back there. Spins no, right. But a little bit too eager, trying to go without yeah. hooks. Thought he could muscle him around and... Yeah, I have... I have oh. Some, I, oh, sorry. No, you ahead. go ahead. I was going to say some big shots there, and he's... McNally's got to be careful. He doesn't lose position. Yeah, so far he hasn't paid for it too, with too high a price, but I, I've been on the receiving end of having a man's back falling over, and you, you, then you, you're even more mad at yourself for the damage you take. Well, he's got one, got one hook in. But is he going to get turned... He's got to just chip away, can't... Yeah. See, from here, he's probably better to step off and stretch his man out with that single hook and land more powerful. Oh! oh! I mean, that's about as illegal as a shot That gets. is as, as poorly picked a shot as I've ever seen. I mean... Wow. And that could be a fight ender. Yeah, absolutely. That I mean, could absolutely be a fight ender. I, yeah, I, I think... Uh, I think Peace is quite badly hurt here. That was a huge, huge shot. That, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. A huge, completely illegal shot. Yeah. I know you get caught up in the moment, in the, but your man was on the floor. His ass was, like, on the canvas, and you went in with it. Now, if he was trying to get the knee to the chest or the body, all right, but that's a risky game to play. Whoa, and what, what's confusing about that is Peace wasn't even really in a position to get up. And unfortunately, this one's going to end the way it did. Mr. Trevor Mitchell had to disqualify for an illegal strike, and therefore your winner and the BMF champion, Callum Payne.